So I just got my Starbucks. Mm, starting out my day with some Starbucks and I grabbed some bacon egg bites just because I forgot to eat breakfast at home. But no biggie, you guys know this is one of my favorite like go-tos. We are gonna go shopping today. I feel like I haven't been up to the Galleria in so long. I really haven't. I do most of my ordering online, but I thought it'd be fun to go up to Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna go up to Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna go up to Chanel. I might go into Louboutin as well, maybe Valentino, just to kind of look around. And I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I'm gonna eat my egg bites really quickly. I'm gonna put my, my book on. I'm gonna get to drive in and let's go shopping. So we are gonna go into the Louis Vuitton store and maybe see Missy. I texted her earlier to see if she was working today. She didn't respond, but she's probably just busy. I haven't been here in forever. I think the last time I have been into the actual Louis Vuitton store was the last time that I vlogged it. And I feel like that has been a really long time. So let's go see what's new. To keep it nice and clean Not freak out and cause a scene I try to hold it together Keep it okay, together I kind of love these sunglasses I love the little grommet detail And you guys know I love me a tortoise sunglass And these have a metal arm How stunning is this piece? See this is something that I want to eventually get Like next And just kind of have on display in my office Or in my closet so beautiful. I love their display. Really pretty. I wanted to show you guys, this is the all-in in the MM size. I've actually been looking at it recently just because I like the thicker straps for travel. I'm actually carrying my Neverfull GM, so you can see like the size is very comparable. So this is the all-in in the MM size, and then this is my Neverfull in the GM. You can kind of look style-wise and size-wise. I do think that this one is a little bit more stylish, but this one is very, very comfortable, and I love that it completely folds flat. It's so beautiful. I really like it. Size is pretty good, too. And let me show you guys the price. It is 4000 But it's all leather. It's not, act well, yeah, it is kind of heavy, but it's really nice. I love that. Oh my goodness, guys. I really like this one. This is so pretty. I really like it. Now, I'm not, like I said, not going to get solid black just because I don't wear enough black. This happens to just work really good with today's outfit. But I just love this shape, the size. I really like the strap just kind of hanging. It looks really casual and chill. I love it. It's so pretty. I love this shoe. There's something so fun about that polka dot i just love it and the silhouette is really really nice they also have like the classic black pattern which is really pretty too but yeah there's just something about this polka dot that i love it's so pretty just be cute and super bland i try to hold it together keep it together been playing it down but i'm so good to get these i think these are really cute these are just a little bit too big this is a 37 but such a classic ballet flat about my leopard pigal foley's all the time they have a new leopard in these are so kate so they're 120 so they're not going to be as comfortable but if you're just looking for style these are pretty amazing oh my goodness guys i just finished looking at louis vuitton and Saks, just kind of looking at things they had something there that i wasn't expecting to even see in person much less consider purchasing it's something i've really wanted for a very very long time but I considered it something that like down the road but you don't want to see this piece that much I didn't purchase it I'm gonna walk away I'm gonna think about it for the next few hours and then um, they did put it on hold for me so maybe you'll be seeing a purchase soon but I really really have to think about this one I really have to think about it but we're gonna go look around a little bit more I'm gonna go buy Chanel I'm not gonna be able to film in there I already know but there is something that I want to look at 
and possibly order. Here's the thing, if I get the thing from Chanel, I can't get the thing from Louis Vuitton. If I get the thing from Louis Vuitton, I can't get the thing from Chanel. It's just, I ain't got it balling like that, but I can get one, but not both. So I need to decide. Let's go. On another note, guys, I haven't worn these shoes in a really long time, and they are starting to rub. Don't love it, but aren't they just so cute? I love them, but yeah, they're starting to rub like the outside of my foot a little bit, but I still love them. I like it on my shoulder, but I do not like it crossbody. It looks too bulky. So here's the medium. And here is the jumbo. This, I feel like this way, this one fits so much better. And this one is really long. Let me show you crossbody. It's just so bulky on me. It's beautiful, but it's just a little bulky, the jumbo. And this one fits a lot better. Okay guys, cat's out of the bag. I was thinking about buying a jumbo and actually it was really bulky on me. I was expecting the jumbo to be perfect. It was really, really big so he ended up showing me the medium size, which I really liked. But I just don't know if I want to spend that much money on such a small bag and maybe that's silly, I don't know. But So I don't know, I really need to think about it but that was basically my Chanel option was the Chanel jumbo in a different color. It's a beige, but it's like a slightly darker beige. It was a new beige that they came out with like spring, summer, earlier this year, and they have like two or three left in the company, and she was gonna have to order it for me today, but the color just didn't end up, or the size just didn't end up being exactly what I was expecting. I really was expecting the size to be perfection, and I did like it on the shoulder, but longer and crossbody. It just felt really, really bulky on me, so I just don't feel confident in buying that ordering that and just not really loving the size so i'm a little disappointed i'm a little disappointed but let's go look around some more Chick-fil-A drive-thru. I am thirsty from walking around the mall, so I had to pick up an Arnold Palmer. I've been kind of obsessed with Arnold Palmer's lately. Well, I haven't gotten one in a really long time, I will say, but like when I say obsessed lately, I mean over like the last couple of months, um, we started going to Cane's. I, I showed you guys, I've shared that quite a few, um, quite a bit on IG stories, and that's where I've started to eat healthy, guys. I'm starting to eat healthier and make better choices, so I haven't gone to Cane's in a really long time, but I love Cane's Arnold Palmer. It's bomb, and then maybe like three weeks ago or so, I tried Chick-fil-A's Arnold Palmer, which is half tea, half lemonade, and guys, it's delicious too. And like I said, I was just really thirsty. I'm walking on the mall. On another note, does anybody else like get total anxiety going through the Chick-fil-A drive-through? I feel like they're like waiting for you before you're even ready to order. It's just total anxiety. Like I'm glad that they get us out so quick, which is awesome. But like I get a little anxiety going through the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. I don't know why. But anyways, I'm about to head home. I figured I would let you guys know. So about a month ago, Audible reached out to me and wanted me to become an Audible partner. And you guys know I love me some audiobooks. I love audiobooks. I love them. So I'm actually an Audible partner now, guys. You can actually go to audible.com slash luxmommy or you can text luxmommy to 500-500 to start your 30-day trial and get one free audiobook. I wanted to show you guys the book. I just started a new book but I also wanted to give you guys some recommendations. So the book that I just started, and when I say I just started, I'm on like chapter two or three, it's by Nicholas Sparks. You guys know I'm a huge, huge Nicholas Sparks fan, um, but it is called See Me by Nicholas Sparks, and it's good so far. It's a little bit different, uh, different than like his normal stuff, because um, it's all about like revenge and something, so I'm really curious to kind of see how it unfolds. It's a little bit different for him. Usually he's all about romance and things like that, 
but if you are looking for some book ideas one if you love like romance and like that kind of like I don't know I, I love Nicholas Sparks he's like he's really the author that got me started reading in general and it just kind of snowballed into my love of him and then I have started reading of course other authors but I wanted to give you guys some recommendations of a few books that I recommend here's a few by Nicholas Sparks two by two I actually just read that one as well and it's amazing um, I also listened to that audio and I loved it it's really 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 good I really like that one the notebook I recently also listened to that one recently and that's just like a classic I have read that one a couple of times I've watched the movie a couple of times the book is just oh, it just gets you so that's a really good one to get if you're looking to get an audiobook the lucky one is one of my favorites from him and then also the wedding and a lot of people don't know this the wedding is kind of like the sequel to the notebook so if you loved the notebook you loved that storyline check out the wedding it is so so good if you're looking for some non nicholas sparks recommendations i really loved watch me disappear by janelle brown that one was definitely unexpected it is about a family and the mother passes away or they think the mother passes away but there's definitely a twist at the end and it really really surprised me but i loved that one and i just get like so invested in the characters um another one i really fell in love with and this one was really different for me and like the book style that i tend to go for um it is behind closed doors and this one is by B.A. Paris and I loved that one. That one's more of a thriller and it just really like kept me wanting to read or listen I guess I should say um, but I really really love that one. Um, also I just have to let you guys know because this is on my wish list there is a new Nicholas Sparks book being uh, released on Audible on October 16th. It is called Every Breath. I've already added it to my wish list. You guys know it, like I said, I'm a huge, huge Nicholas Sparks fan. So that will be probably my next read, if not my read after that, because that's already on my wish list. And like I said, it's being released on October 16th. But if you're wanting to start audiobooks, definitely check out audible.com slash luxmommy or text luxmommy to 500, 500 to start your 30 day trial and get your one free audible book. So check that out. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn my book on and drink some of my Arnold Palmer and get home. I wanna show you guys when I get home what I picked up. So I did order, I placed a little online order um, at Nordstrom. I ordered a few things, you'll st you'll see that on the blog. I may not show you guys that because I'll just get pictures and stuff of that whenever I wear them and you'll see that stuff on the blog. But I bought the cutest, cutest umbrella ever. So it's been raining like crazy and I have like a ton of umbrellas but they're all just like black and boring. I wanted to get a really cute one so I got one of those clear ones. I love it. It is so cute and it is gonna be so adorable for pictures. I'll show you that when we get home but let's go ahead and get driving. Hey guys, so I just got home and I wanted to show you guys the umbrella that I bought. Now how cute is this? I really wanted to get like a cutesy umbrella for pictures and just something that's kind of cute. I have a ton of like the compact black umbrellas, but those really aren't that cute, especially not for pictures. I love that this one is clear. I am gonna open it up. It will be okay. One thing I will say about this umbrella that I'm not crazy about is it's manual. All my black umbrellas, you just hit a button and it opens and pops up for you and you hit a button and it kind of closes for you, which I love. This one is manual, but I guess that's the price you pay for cuteness. Um, but how cute is this? It is so, 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 so cute. I love it. And it was under $20, guys. I think it was like $18 and change. Um, highly recommend it. It's really cute. The plastic is really thin. Um, and it does have like a little film on it. But I think that's because it's brand new. Once it gets wet and stuff, I think it'll go away and it'll be just fine. But I just think this is going to be so, 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 so cute for pictures and stuff like that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of going along with me. I wanted to hang out longer. There was a couple of other stores that I wanted to go to but my feet were killing me so i wore my valentino rock studs today the flats and normally these are super super comfortable for for me and they were killing me it felt like they were brand new they were so stiff and hard i guess it's because it's been such a long time that i've worn these um, but I literally couldn't walk anymore. I went to Nordstrom to pick up my stuff. I ordered a few things for the blog and just to shoot and wear and stuff. And um, I couldn't, I literally had to leave. I had to go to my car because they were killing me. I was like having a hard time even walking through Nordstrom. They were killing me so bad, but I'm really bummed about that. But 
Yeah, so I went by uh, Chanel and I will say I'm a little bummed about that as well. I was really excited to try the Jumbo for the first time in person. I've seen them before, but I've never really tried them on or anything like that because I just never felt like it was something, or at least I didn't think it was something that would ever be on my radar to actually purchase. And um, I really kind of took a step back at my collection and I decided that my next bag would be a Chanel Jumbo or something really super uber classic right like and most of my bags are but you know what i'm saying like the classic if that makes sense and um i was really bummed it didn't look good on me crossbody it didn't look good on me like long shoulder it only looks good on me doubled up and i'm just not gonna spend that much money on a bag that only looks good on me one of three ways that you should be able to wear it it was really really bulky so when i told him it was too bulky um he showed me the medium large and i will say i did like the way the medium large looked better on me as far as like the long strap but you couldn't do it crossbody and it looked really really short on me doubled up on the shoulder so I, even though I liked that one, I, I could only wear it one way as well as opposed to three ways. So I was a little bummed about that. So I just felt like the medium was too small, the jumbo was too large. So there's really not like a perfect size. So I was really bummed. I was actually thinking that was gonna be my next bag in a different color. So I showed you the, the two bags that I showed you was the classic beige, which, which is beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful. But I wanted a slightly darker beige and they have a new beige. It was like part of their spring summer collection earlier this year and they had like two or three left in the company they were going to order it for me and that was why i went and i wanted to look at the like classic or just the jumbo size in general to get a feel for the size and everything see if the size worked and then they would just order the other beige color and the size just didn't work out for me so i'm really really bummed but it's okay i'll put my, my little chanel wish list idea on the back burner we'll look we'll revisit that another time and see but i don't know if i see a chanel jumbo in my future if I were to ever get one, which I'm not saying I won't ever, I don't think I would buy it brand new. Just because I can't see spending that much money on a bag that only works for me really one way. So I could definitely see buying it pre-loved, um, but I would have to get a killer deal. A killer deal. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of just like going along with me. Sorry, it wasn't as long as possible. Make sure to check out links for everything down below. Um, and that is it. I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.